In this video, we're going to be making a girl's gown um, as we made the boy gown in the earlier video. I wanted to show you the difference. I've gone ahead and done a little bit of the work already so that this video won't have to be as long. The difference in the boy and girl gowns is that um, lace is sewn around the sleeve and the neck and around the bottom and then the trim is a little different on the front. As far as the back goes, it's the same with um, the four pieces of eighth inch ribbon. I have not put on the neck yet because I need to sew the, uh, sew the lace around the neck, but the lower two pieces I've gone ahead and sewn on. I've already serged all the edges. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this serged edge along the neckline of this gown as my guide for sewing on the lace. The lace has a finished edge. It's encased in a, uh, like a netting. And I'm just going to lay the edge of the lace right along the edge of the neck of the gown. And then there's some, there's stitching on the lace, which is a handy guide for sewing to attach the lace to the gown. So I'm going to quickly sew this lace on. And sewing the lace on is going to be much like sewing the lace on the fetal demise pouches. We're going to sew it on the top. And then, after I've done that, we're going to fold it to the inside of the gown and top stitch it on the outside. That will make the lace stand up around the neck. So I've sewn the lace, right side of the lace to the right side of the gown. And then, like we did on the fetal demise packets, pouches, we're just going to flip that lace up and top stitch close to the edge of the neckline. stretch it a little bit at the net at the shoulder seam because it tends to want to just kind of bunch up. But just use your fingernail or the tip of the uh, seam ripper as I showed you in a previous video. To kind of spread that fabric out so it doesn't bunch up and get gathered up when you stitch it. So there, as you can see, that's the neckline of the little gown. We're going to quickly do the sleeve the same way. I already did the other side. So we'll do this one again. And remember, you cannot sew the uh, lace on after sewing that side seam because that hole for the arm is so tiny. So we want to be sure and finish the sleeve edges with either the hem or the lace before we start the side seam on the gown. I, I don't think there's any way we could get our fingers in there to hem that tiny little sleeve if we sewed up the side seams first. So I'm just going to trim this lace right there even with the edge of the sleeve. Flip it under and top stitch it. Okay, so I've done that, and now I'm going to sew this other side seam together. Remember, we use a quarter inch seam throughout. And if you have difficulty going around a sharp curve like this little armhole is, you can get close and then you can actually turn your hand wheel so that you can sew straight or just take one stitch at a time. Take it easy. Take it kind of slow around that curve. And 
then if you'll remember in the boy gown, I said to go to that, to go back to the armhole curve here and snip the seam allowance about four or five times. And that will allow you to straighten that side seam out to go to the serger 